just for the day, I swapped my Tesla Model Y for this, the Highlander Model 3. Now, I absolutely love my Tesla Model Y, but I was unsure how I'd cope without the indicator stalks on the new Tesla. So this already freaks some people out that there's no display in front of you. There's nothing there. Hello. Instead, everything is on this screen on the left. People, there's no stalks either side. I thought this might be a step too far. Absolutely no indicators, as well as hardly any buttons on the Tesla, but I love it. Honest, if you already drive a Tesla, this is a really easy transition. And if you don't already drive a Tesla, I think it's even easier. So when you now get in the vehicle, you put your little card up against the phone charger. And the thing that I actually like is, look, this is non my Model Y. So it's actually telling you to start the vehicle, you press the brake. So you hold the brake down and then on my Tesla, you pick the driving mode from your indicators. Here, if I press the brake, look, you can see my foot through the gap, pressing the brake, this appears. So you pick your direction of travel. So if I want to reverse, obviously I'm not going to go into the wall. I'm going to click, push the brake down again. I'm going to click there show you drag the car down and the car goes into reverse i'm going to quickly tap to put it in park there we go i'm not going anywhere me it's even more intuitive so just to show you how easy it is again you're going to put your foot on the brake and then click the direction of travel if you're going forward you just push it upwards obviously i'm not going to drive into the wall and then you click the p to put it in park if you hold firmly this is what i would indicate you do can you see that p comes on Really make sure that you do that because otherwise you've got it in park instead of having the handbrake on. That's really important. Indicate left and right. You're just using your thumbs. You don't need the stalks. If you think about it, there is no reason to have them there. On the Model Y, these are the functions that come on the stalks. So you've got the windscreen wipers. I click there. The windscreen wipers come on. It also comes on this screen as well. So this was on the stalk and it's now on the steering wheel. Voice command, you press this button here. There we go. Turn on windscreen wipers. There you go. You've got voice command as well on the steering wheel. And the one I had to pull over and check because I absolutely love driving with lane assist on. So that's the two blue lines that appear either side of your lane that you're in. And the vehicle stays in that lane and sort of drives itself as long as you hold on turn on that you double tap this button this roller ball in the middle or you can change the settings you just need to press it once press it once and it sets it at the speed that you're driving roll the ball up and the speed increases and that sets your speed limit on your vehicle press it twice and the lane assist is on if you want to flash them do with your headlights it's just this button just there you can use your thumbs for everything it will appeal to lots of people because most of us are on our phones all the time it's the thumbs that you use the rest of the commands are on the um, central console, the same as on the other Teslas. So this will actually show me where I am. If I wanted to go to um, the Tesla service center, if I want to go back, it's just all via the screen. All of the commands are here to open your boot, to unlock the vehicle, to open the frank. Don't forget about voice command. All of the functions can be done with voice command. I'll do a couple of videos on this because there's lots of different things between the Tesla Model Y and the new Highlander Tesla Model 3. One of the things I did notice is I kept having a hissing noise coming from the right. And I was checking if the um, aircon was on, but it wasn't. But it's actually the ventilated seats, which is something that I do not have in my Tesla Model Y. It, I think it is a really good upgrade. It freaked me out slightly trying to work out where that hissing was coming from a completely full review on what i think of the vehicle the size of the back seat the opening of the boot the ease of driving but this is just the difference between having the stalks and not having the stalks compared to the old model 3 and the new highlander or the tesla model y it's not difficult